ladies and gentlemen, as all good things must come to an end, I cordially invite onto the stage uh, the Advocacy and Research Manager at Transparency International Sri Lanka, La Santika Hetiarachi, to deliver the vote of thanks. Thank you, Sharlan. Let me just first start by saying that it's an honor to stand before you today to thank you for gracing this occasion, which marks a significant milestone in our journey towards more transparent and accountable governance. We gathered here today for the launch of the Civil Society Governance Diagnostic Report on Sri Lanka, a crucial document that sheds light on the state of governance of our nation. On behalf of Transparency International Sri Lanka, I would like to express a heartfelt appreciation to all the individuals and communities who shared their experiences and perspectives. Your collective efforts have made this report a reality. Making this launch possible today is a, is a testament to the dedication of our researcher, none other than Professor Arjuna Parakrama, the Transparency International Sri Lanka team, Dr. Nishan Dimel, and Verity Research Team, and of course, the core group and their organizations, who worked tirelessly to compile this report in time. To the ever-dedicated colleagues of mine of TISL, let me express my gratitude to you all. I want to also acknowledge the contributions of our external partners, consultants, shareholders, stakeholders who have provided their valuable input, guidance, and feedback throughout this process. Your collaborative spirit and commitment to our shared goal have been instrumental in the success of this initiative. As we launch this governance diagnostic report today, let us remember that it's not just another document, but a roadmap for instrumental change. It contains insights and recommendations that are actionable and will guide us towards a more transparent, accountable, and efficient governance framework. While I also thank all our distinguished guests here today and everyone else who made this event possible, I would like to invite all of you to engage in meaningful discussions and dialogues following this launch. Let us now move forward with a renewed sense of purpose and determination in our collective pursuit of excellence in governance and a corruption-free Sri Lanka. Thank you all for coming today.